Welcome back to another episode of I Got a Special Treat For You. You know what? I have a special treat for you every video. So thank you for tuning in to today's video. And thank you for tuning in to next week's video and the next week and the next week. And anyways, I'm just playing. But anyways, special treat for you today. We're gonna be talking about a lob, textured lob haircut actually, and things to consider, face shape and tools to use and just if you're watching this as a consumer or if you're watching this as a hairdresser. So stay tuned guys, it is gonna be awesome. Coming right up. So first off, let's define what a lob is. It's a long bob, right? So most of the time when you look at a bob length, a bob length can be anywhere between right where the mouth is to really right around where the chin and right below the chin. That would be considered a Robert. I'm just kidding, a Bob, a Robert. I'm just kidding. Um, <clears throat> but the whole point, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing kind of a longer Bob, right? And that's gonna be something that is going to, initially if her shoulders were about like right here, it would be something between that angle right there, kind of a longer Bob in that area. Now that we're gonna be doing a lot of texture in this, we're gonna be adding a lot of inside texture with a razor. I'm gonna show you a really cool thing that I do on my clients whenever they wanna look like this, anything a little bit shorter, that is gonna help create like that width, you know, so stay tuned with that. We're gonna be using a scissor, a razor, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and start parting this off right now. So when considering your first initial cut, when it comes down to creating this line. Now there's a few different lines you can do. Number one, we can do a very blunt line, of course, along the bottom. We can do something that's more angled 45 degrees with a scissor. You know, you can go very vertical with your scissor. All of those are going to have like, it all really depends on the type of line you want. Now, if you have a very fine textured person, I would say go very blunt. If you have somebody with a lot more hair, I would say loosen up that bottom a little bit more. So really it just depends on what you're looking for. So when it comes to the consumer, when you're consulting, really take into consideration what kind of hair they do have. And so hopefully if you are when, if you are a consumer watching this as well, you know, keep that in mind, you know, if the hairdresser is not fully aware of that or they don't bring that up, you know, say, hey, listen, I'm looking for more of a stronger line along the bottom. I wanna make sure it looks really, really thick. So again, guys, your hairdresser should know this. Um, if they don't, find a new hairdresser, come see me. Just kidding. What we're gonna do today, we're gonna do a very textured line in here. So with this, I'm gonna take my comb now and I'm just going to cut, cut. So you can start to see those angles right through there. Let's bring the camera back and so you can start to see those angles along the bottom. So again, you're gonna to start to see like longer, shorter, longer, shorter. And it really kind of starts to zigzag or look like the top of the mountain. So that's gonna be our first initial shape along the bottom. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to part off and I'm gonna usually take about, let's say an inch and a half to two inches all the way across. Let's go ahead and do that now. So what we wanna see right here is now you can start to see your guide underneath, right? We can start to kind of see where this hair is hanging over. And so you can see where your guide is at right there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in, I'm just gonna kind of follow somewhat of that same line, right? You don't have to cut at exactly the same points, but I'm gonna to try to kind of follow it very, very similar. A 
tip and a trick for you. When you are in the salon, if you're a hairdresser, the most unused tool in the salon is the mirror. I'm gonna use you as the mirror, straightforward. Now I can start to look and I can check my balance. Is everything even? Is it not even? So <clears throat> instead of me going and standing in front, which I can do that as well, I'm gonna use you to make sure everything is even. Hopefully it is even. Let's take a look. Awesome, it is even, I love it. Okay, so at this point in the haircut, we're gonna go in and we're gonna start to create some internal texturizing, some internal movement. Now this is essentially going to kind of give this a slight layered effect without it actually being surface layered. So we're gonna be using, there's two different tools you can use here. Number one, you can use a feather razor. Number two, you can use a straight edge razor. It doesn't really matter which one you use. It's just really about how comfortable you are with each one. Now, a straight edge razor, of course, is going to be fairly aggressive. It has no guard. This, of course, has a guard. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna show you how you would use both of them. So let's use one section for one, one section for another. So you can kind of see how those work. How this texture is going to work, right, is if you are adding texture into the hair, I mean, you can go in and we could essentially add like layers throughout the top like that. We don't necessarily want to do that because we still want to have some sort of strength along the bottom. But what I found is that sometimes the best movement you can create is inside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here. Now I'm gonna take this feather razor and I'm gonna lightly put it on the surface right here. And then I'm going to start cutting just a little bit, just like that. So as you can see, a little bit of that hair comes off right through there. Then I'm gonna come over here on this opposite side and I'm gonna do the same thing. And it's a very light, light touch. As you can see, I'm not removing like a ton of hair through there. Now I'm gonna be doing this and you can start to see some of this hair that sticks out right through here that I've cut. This is gonna help create volume and lift and it's also gonna remain fairly strong at the bottom because you have not taken off a ton of that actual weight on the inside. Now I'm gonna be doing that with another section here, another section here, and so on. And then right down through here. But let me show you really, really quick. I'm gonna go ahead and do this with a razor, a straight edge razor, right through here. Take that section. Just like so. And as you can see, I start kind of like doing my movement before I start cutting a little bit of hair. You just have to really kind of understand your tool, number one, because you know if you go in fairly aggressive and you're used to a guarded razor, you are going to, I mean, you're gonna cut a lot of hair off. So keep in mind, we don't wanna go in and go too aggressive with it. Now those two sections, the really cool thing about this is that this is going to add a little bit of texture. You know, this might be a little bit hard to see, but as you can start to see this, because those two points right through here are gonna create really cool separation. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on, on the rest of this. So I've taken the, the top section down. Now I'm gonna cut that perimeter and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna look and see if I need to texturize the top. I usually wait to save to texturize the top when we're completely dry, but I'm gonna look and see how it looks after I get done cutting the perimeter. So let's cut the perimeter here really quick. pause here really quick there's not a lot of things I'll get on my knees for but an amazing shape an amazing hairstyle is one of them so I really want to point out guys like this shape right here this is definitely considered a straight-up lob right you've got some texture along the bottom it still has some strength along that shape now I'm gonna save and I'm gonna go ahead and save some of that texture for the very end throughout the top because 
Again, it's about balancing, you know, not taking out too much hair, but taking out enough hair. So, and a lot of times when you're cutting texture, it's a feeling and it's visual. So keep that in mind when you're cutting texture. It's a feeling and it's visual. So let's go ahead and dry this bad boy and uh, let's finish up that shape. So guys, when it comes down to putting product in the hair, you know, one of the things you wanna keep in mind is that, you know, I wanna actually add something that's gonna add a little bit of texture before when I start to dry it and then after as well. I'm gonna use some Brilliantine. This is from Bumble and Bumble. If you've never used this product before, it is absolutely amazing. I've used it in a couple of my other videos, but really what it is, it's an oil-based product that's a cream. You can use it on curly hair, straight hair, fine textured hair, medium. It really can be used on any type of hair. So you use a little bit just like so, just like that. And usually when I start applying a product like this, I want you to think about a couple different things. I'm going to be applying it from about eye level down. I'm not gonna be putting too much at the root, especially if somebody, you know, has a tendency of getting kind of oily and or greasy. So let's not add to that. So again, keep in mind, we wanna add the product from about eye level down. And you can start to see, maybe in another video, I'll kind of show you how to do this like wavy and curly. I mean, that texture is looking really pretty cool, but we're gonna do it more straight today because we're gonna finish the haircut. Okay guys, I finished blow drying. This shape is looking phenomenal. I really like what's happening. There's a few little tweaks I wanna do in that top layer. So let's go ahead and do that now. I really hope you guys dig what we're doing. And if you do, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you haven't liked it, go ahead and like it. Honestly guys, I so appreciate it. So let's go ahead and finish the top portion and then we'll get into finishing this haircut off. Okay, so you guys remember the texture that I cut on the bottom at that 45 degree, 45 degree, 45 degree. Now what I wanna do is I wanna add that same texture at the bottom, but I wanna add it throughout the top. And so one of the things that I like to do is I'm gonna take a little Mohawk section right through here and I'm gonna show you exactly kind of how to get that same exact texture that's working along the bottom, but to get that up on top. What I'm going to do is I really am going to cut from the inside and I'm going to create these 45s. And so just like that, and then I'm gonna come over with my scissor just like that. And then I'm going to, and I'm gonna show you here really quick. So you're gonna to start to kind of see, you're gonna to start to see where that 45 degree is coming up and then you cut that just like that. So let me grab all that hair again and I can show you exactly what's happening here. So what you're getting is you're getting like short to long, short to long, short to long, and then you get that texture in through there. So as you guys have cut that texture, the thing you wanna keep in mind is that a lot of that movement is gonna be coming throughout. So now again, you still have that nice perimeter line, but then you have like a lot of those ins and outs and that texture in there that adds to it and just brings that, that haircut and it just makes it look that much more amazing. And the thing I really want you to pay attention to is that this doesn't get too bulbous down through here where it sticks out like a triangle. This really shapes in nicely. So this again is something that is super modern, super hit, super in, you know, you could color this with, you could do some beautiful highlights, you could do something super chunky, you could do some paneling coloring. I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, this is looking spectacular. I hope you guys enjoyed this. When I go to finish this off, I'm gonna be using the Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Texture Spray. I'm in love with this product right now. I just used this in my other video. It is awesome, okay? Now it adds the coolest kind of texture. It smells amazing. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna kind of just spray it and I'm gonna try and get it inside of the shape and then I'm going to kind of scrunch and play with and do all that good stuff. So when you're using a product, the thing, when you're using something like this, I always kind of like to use it in layers and I'll take a section like so and I'm gonna spray it kind of on the inside because I want that texture coming 
from the inside. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys are considering getting a lob, a friend's considering getting a lob, whatever it may be, try out this technique or show this to a hairdresser. You won't regret it. This honestly will be amazing. Doing it curly, wavy, straight, anything like that. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. My name is Jake Thompson Hair.